And turning now to the friendly skies, Wes Parker takes us to the Burbank Airport to see some living history. Hang on tight for this wild ride in the latest segment of The Good Life. Hello everyone, it's Wes Parker once again for The Good Life and today I'm at Burbank Airport where we have three vintage World War II airplanes. And the big surprise is very soon I will be going up in the air in a vintage P-51 Mustang fighter. The B-17, B-24, and the P-51 on display all played an important role in America's victory in World War II. And even celebrities like Tom Hanks and Jay Leno have gotten in on the action. The airplanes are on display as a part of the 20th season of the Wings of Freedom Tour, organized by the Collings Foundation, an organization dedicated to preserving and celebrating these special aircraft. The tour provides an opportunity for people to be a part of living history by exploring and even flying in these vintage warplanes. It also gives veterans like Charles Norm Stevens a chance to come and share their stories with a captive audience. Well, I love that airplane from the first moment I saw it. That was my dream to be a bombardier on a plane like this and I did, did accomplish that. Norm Stevens grew up in Englewood and was still just a teenager when he became a part of the 351st Bomb Group, responsible for flying raids over Germany. You have written a book, Norm, about yeah. your experiences, uh, which you have here in your hands. Right. This is uh, called An Innocent Paul Brook. And uh, I call it Innocent at Paul Brook because I was only 19 years old, didn't know much about anything at that time. So I was the innocent one, and Polbrook is the name of the field from which we flew. And this contains uh, a record of all of the 34 bombing missions I was on, plus uh, our leaves and uh, many of the thoughts that I had about what was happening to me and my loneliness for home. It's all, all in here. The Collings Foundation provides history and aviation fans a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity by allowing them to actually go up in the air with seasoned pilots for an experience they'll never forget. Well, I'm going to show you some acrobatics. We're going to go upside down and back over like that. And we'll go fast and we'll go low and thoroughly enjoy the, the fine feel of this aircraft. You'll love the, the sound and the feel of the Rolls-Royce Merlin B-12 pulling us along. It's like a locomotive with wings. For California Life, this is Wes Parker bringing you the good life. And Wes joins us now on set. Wes, that looked amazing. It looked amazing. I was so looking forward to this, Heather. I really was. I wanted to get up on a fighter plane. I've never done it. When I was a little kid, P-51s and P-38s were flying over our house, and I would jump up and down, and the sound of the engines was that Rolls-Royce, beautiful, smooth sound. And then when I got on the plane, I realized, wait a minute, I'm six foot two, and this <laughs> plane was built for somebody five foot five. Wow, so it a, was snug. It was too snug. They put mm -hmm. a parachute on me, and they locked. there were five straps that locked me in. I could not move. I didn't get to steer the plane, which I really wanted to do once we got up there. But it's still, it was fun, and I have such admiration for these pilots who were in these stripped-down things that were just nothing more than war machines, no comfort. Oh my, so was it really rocky when you're up there and loud and just like in the movies? All of the above. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's always exciting, though. At least you got to do it. You got to live your yeah. dream, and we really enjoyed your segment, and I know next time you're going and you're taking us to one of the ballparks here in California. You will like that. You will love it. Okay. Thanks, Wes. Always a pleasure to have you on set. Thank you.